Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Silicon News episode 26. I have a cold. We're gonna do it anyway. Yes. So, first of all, let's just start out with the re releases that we had the past three months January, yep. February, March. Like we said, we're gonna start doing these videos quarterly. So, we're gonna do bigger summaries, bigger news. Uh, and bigger contests and everything so indeed so first of all we got the modulus iron fire that we came out with we have the zombie strike which should i get series oh yeah which should i get series of the zombie strike also the modulus recon mk2 and strike bow strike review uh the modulus ecs 10 stress test that was a cool one indeed zombie strike cross cut review mega dual strike review and new series oh wait no lightning bow review and a new series star wars chewbacca bootcaster so I was Chewbacca Bowcaster. I think there's like four new Star Wars games, I believe. Yeah, should be yeah, four. There's a lot. Yeah. So. Mail time. Oh Indeed. wait, no, we're no, not we got news. Mail. We have Thanks a for lot of news. That thing in there. Indeed. So resources. We have a ton of new guns that came out. Not only guns. Yes, there was a few things like this Nerf Battle Racer. Has anyone here. seen this Battle Racer? This is ridiculous. It's, it's actually it's already been out for a while, and quite a few people have bought it. So it's. Not a completely new thing. However, it is kind of cool. I was thinking it was going to be motor powered. <laughs> that would have been and, like, a lot You could like, press a gas pedal like one of those little <laughs> car things that I always wanted as a child but never had. I that like, looks cool though. Yeah. I'd like to see somebody do a mod and not just put like a, I don't know, motorcycle motor in there or something crazy to actually make it go. But it's got like two gun holsters in the front and back and a bunch of dart ammo holders, which is kind of cool. So, yeah. So. How about you start with modulus guns? All right, the N Strike Modulus Battle Scout ICS Ten. I don't remember ever hearing ICS before, but yeah, that's cool. It has an HD camera, 1080p, but it's an attachment, so you can put it on any gun, which yeah. is really cool. It's like unlike having the, a GoPro, except yeah. unlike the Elite Cam, you know. it's a lot better because you can put it on anything. <laughs> All right, uh, there's. Uh, Oh, I don't know what tactile, that is. it's a tactical gear assortment, <laughs> modulus tactical gear assortment. There's a laser sight, a flashlight, and a like a jolt type thing, which is pretty cool. And but, they, um, they all attach like the jolt attachment. Yeah, actually goes onto a rail attachment on a, on a blaster. I don't remember. I don't know if there's a name for it, but it's like basically those attachment things you get mm. uh, for modulus. Next, oh. we have your Nerf modulus tri strike. It has elite darts. Uh, mega darts and a pump rocket which is pretty sweet which is like i mean they're always doing more and more and more eventually they're just yeah. gonna have these and a vortex if they're still doing vortex that'd be cool but what's cool about this is it has a bike pump on the grip it looks like on the back stock and you can put this on any gun i'm thinking because it's the stock and like the sight or the an attachment you can have next we have an n-strike elite hyper fire it's really cool it's like it looks like a smooth design like a kind of a nice smg it's got a 25 round drum mag, which is yep. obviously drum nice mags are always cool. Indeed, we have the Nerf and Strike Elite Stratabo. Stratus bow, I think it's Stratabo. I think it has 14 or 15 darts, which is pretty cool. That's a lot of darts. Yeah, which is it's a, a lot different than a lot of the things that they have. It's almost like a mag, but it's yeah. not a mag. Uh, and strike elite pocket strike it's smaller than a jolt it looks like it is it looks i mean it looks bigger than a jolt to me it well pretty, overall pretty fat. it is possibly but i think it's thinner than a jolt maybe <laughs> so it's got a cool. it's got a slim plunger design that's yeah, interesting yeah something that's kind of cool doomlins uh, i love doomlins they're making yeah. new doomlins guns they're, there's doomlins impact zone desolator so impact zone is a sub series of the sub series yeah. doomlins which is basically like a whiteout of Doom Man, which is kind of cool. This one's got like, I think it's a full automatic, not full automatic, it's like a semi automatic one, probably similar to a Strife. Looks like there's a revving trigger on it. Yeah. And then there's a Doom Man's Impact Zone Long Arm, which is pretty cool. It doesn't have any attachments on it, but it's it's kind of cool. It has like, like, it looks, like a, looks like a Spectre or something. Yeah, it's like a like Spectre. Spectre. Fairly Spectre similar Spectre. to Spectre. Spectre. Yeah. Also, a Doom Man's Double Dealer. This is not in the Impact Zone series but it has two magazine holders on each side and it's like a shotgun pump which That's is cool. awesome i'm guessing it does slam fire yeah and it looks like there's two mag holders in the back but i can't tell it which looks like it. it'll be great because if you get one mag jam you can just keep using the other mag yeah unless the gun jams and <laughs> yeah the zombie strike brain saw i don't understand this one i saw this it doesn't does it even shoot darts? Yeah, it looks like there's a rough cut 2x4 kind of design on, oh, on each side. So there's four darts there. 
And then there's a little saw in the middle. Yeah, on the scent, in the front end, it kind of swirls like that uh, other zombie strike pistol that we found. So that's pretty cool. The Elite Mega Mastodon. Mastodon. Yes. It's like that giant shark. It's basically a huge motorized Mega Blaster. Shoots 24 darts. And it looks fairly similar to it a looks, Vulcan design. It looks maybe. huge, yeah. It is huge. I, can't, I think there's another picture. No, I don't have another one. There should be another one. But... um. It is really, really big. It's huge. Uh, we got new rival guns. That's exciting. I'm really excited for the rival yes, guns. Yes, I am too. They have an Atlas XVI 1200. 1200? 12, 1200, 12, yeah. <laughs> it's a shotgun pump design. It has a magazine that's fed on the top, which is kind of interesting. It's a little bit different. Then we have a new one. This one's a rival, awesome. rival Chaos MXVI 4000. I don't know why they name them like these. Anyway, it's got a it's got a quad mag on it, so I don't think it shoots four at a time. In fact, I'm fairly certain it doesn't. Yeah. But it has a lot of ammunition to to use because it has four rows of ammo. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure how the mag works if it if it'll feed one at a time or if it feeds all four at a time. Um, but I'm guessing the gun only shoots one one. At a time, is that right? I'm thinking it does. Yeah, it would be cool if you could insert your own magazines into it, but I doubt that's that's the case. Oh, the, the, the yeah, mags. yeah. But yeah, next we have a new Alien series. This is like they've only posted pictures online, so it's not even at the toy fair yet. I don't think. <laughs> don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. An Alien Menace Ravager, Rev Ravager. I think Ravager. it's a Ravager. You can ravage. It's kind of weird enemies. looking. I assume I think that's shotgun pump design. Looks like it. Yeah, which is kind of interesting. It's weird. I don't. I still don't understand this series. It's very, yeah. very interesting. It not much. I haven't seen much news on those guns. So. I don't know if the the guns are supposed to be like alien weapons or they're supposed to be aliens themselves. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> there's also another one called Menace Incisor. In Incisor. I Incisor. Read that. Incisor. Yeah. It looks like this one's a full automatic one yes. though. That one looks. Yeah, it's got a Possibly. revving trigger underneath it. So I'm hoping it's full automatic instead of semi-auto. That should be kind of nice because they haven't released too many full auto ones. This one's cool. It's the, another Doomless Blaster. Yeah, this one's actually out already, so I have it on the bottom here. But um, it's just basically kind of a new, newer, cool Doomlands gun, and it's similar to like a uh, a hammer shot, which is awesome. So yeah, it's like a quad hammer shot. Yeah. Fairly similar to a hammer shot. So, yeah, that's all the Nerf news that I could find and he could find and that so far has come out. There, I think there's a few other attachments and simple items that have come out. But yeah, there's a lot really, of stuff coming out. I'm not sure the yeah. release dates on all those, but yeah, it, yeah. Uh, yeah it's I think most exciting. of them were fall 2016. There was at least fall. seven of them that were in fall. So. Lots, lots of stuff coming out. Yeah, We're definitely gonna be getting those reviews to you as ho- hopefully as soon as we get them in. Yeah. All right, mail time. We have something this month. If you'd like to enter mail, please send us mail. Uh, you can find the address on our website, also the description of this video. Would you like to read this? I can read this. You can read it. Well, the cursive it says, Dear Nerf SOCOM, I love your channel. My friend, my best friend, introduced it to me. The trolls' comments are senseless. How could someone say something that bad about you? I have no Indeed. idea. You're too awesome. I'm sure they are just jealous <clears throat> boys that write comments like that because of your supreme awesomeness. I like this kid. He's he's very, very encouraging. Yes. My favorite blaster are the Stampede and the Rampage. Your viewer, Daniel S. His last name is an S, but we're only going to say the S. Uh, P.S. Did you ever do a review on the Firefly Rev 8? We actually... Did we? I think we reviewed it, but we never uploaded it. We had our cousin over, and he had a Firefly Rev 8. Uh, is that the... No, I don't remember which one that was. It's the flashing one. Oh, yeah, we did a review on that. I, don't I believe did. we I don't did. Think we put it up. Yeah, we may have not put it up. He also sent we us some photos, some green photos of his guns. I don't know if he had like a zombie strike uh, influence or if his printer was just really bad. But yeah, he's got a rough cut here. Or, that's not a rough cut. Looks like a rough cut. It is a rough cut. It looks like a zo- I didn't know they made a zombie strike rough cut. It's got an elite cam, uh, a rap- rapid strike, CS18, and then the front half of an Apollo. Is that an Apollo? Yeah, I think it is. Yes. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Send us mail. If you would like to send us mail, we'll Please probably do. read it on here. We will likely we, read yeah. it on here. Likely read we'll it on send here. us pictures and we'll show it on the mail. We'll put it on our thing and we'll thank you and send you Big a reply wall. in the mail. Yeah. Yes, we really appreciate you guys' mail. Uh, next, we got comments. If you want to submit a comment, we will read it in here, answer questions, mm-hmm. uh, but post it on our website because we're going to read most of our, the questions on our website. Yes, from the video on our website. Yeah. So, first one from Derek. Who wonders why Adam doesn't do reviews anymore? I don't wonder it. He's asking <laughs> the public, isn't he? Yeah, he is asking the public. Maybe I'll do another review someday. Maybe. Well, if you, Okay, how about this? If you guys tell me like an old gun that you want me to review, or like maybe like a rebel gun or something, just something out of the ordinary, maybe yeah. I'll do it. Maybe. Yeah. And if we do start doing mods, though, again, I can imagine you'd be, yes. be a part of I'd some of the mod mods. I'd be doing mods. We might have some so. other people going in on the mod videos. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah, Nerf Girl videos. We've had actually a lot of comments from this person. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I guess it's a girl. <laughs> uh, when will the next bloopers video for reviews come out? I was actually working on that um, like a year ago, and it never ended up coming up. Yes, yeah, it kind of just had a stall. We kind of almost forgot about it. We don't and... really, we don't really compile many bloopers anymore. Yeah. See, when we were doing them earlier on, we'd mess up a lot. A ton. But nowadays, like. A lot of the reviews we do in one take anyway, and it's easy, and yeah. there's not a lot of mess-ups. So it's rare that we find bloopers, but when we do, we're going to compile them. So you might see one eventually. I, I think because we only have me or one person reviewing a, a gun at a time, that causes a less, way yeah. less bloopers than normal. Yeah. So. It's an easier, more straightforward video. And, Indeed. Yeah. Uh, next, from Jakek. Jakek? I think it's Jack. Jackick, just Jack. Keep Jack E in there by accident. Oh. Hi guys, I wonder how many guns do you have now? Do you have them in a separate room or what? We have like a ton just right so like, over here, right back there. They're just com- on, piled I'm up. I'm gonna show you guys real quickly. Yeah, give me a sink. This is like super. Here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna this go is super ghetto. We don't. Should I? We don't normally do this. All right, camera speed. Something. Can you give me a clap? Boom. All right, check There's it out. Julian. Nerf guns, that box has some guns in it. Actually, the rival guns are in there. Guns in here. <laughs> I believe that all these drawers are full yeah, of guns. Yeah, those drawers are full. So we have, like... I don't think they hear you, actually, on the, on the mic over here. we got banana speak guns up. over here. you got to speak up, because oh, it's that right. mic that's picking you Indeed. up. So we got banana guns over here. Yeah, we got Indeed. more guns back there. But, uh, yeah. So, there's a reason all these guns are on the floor. You'll see in a minute. That yeah. bin actually has guns in it, too. We also have guns upstairs, and uh, quite a few upstairs. Yeah. <clears throat> so you know I'm just gonna leave this thing going. Yeah, we'll probably do an arsenal video at some point. I can imagine we will yeah, because that's we always, not, we always that doesn't show that. everything. That definitely doesn't show everything. Michelle Reed says, "What's your dog's name?" I didn't know you put that question in there. <laughs> uh, uh, her name is Ruby. Uh, dead. No, no, don't. No, yes, yeah, she's. She's in. She's outside. Yeah, she's uh, been outside she's for quite a while. She's under a tree. She's been outside for quite a while. Yeah, so. uh, got kind of concerned about her. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. That's kind of kind of a sad story. Uh, Sean, <laughs> Sean says, "Hey guys, this is for the contest, but I do have a few questions, so we're gonna answer it because he has a few questions. Mm-hmm. How do you chore- choreograph fights? Do you do it on set or on paper? Um, as for the fights." I normally choreograph them all. You know what? Uh, most mostly what we do is we'll do it. I'll write it. I'll write out exactly yeah. what happens. Like he pulls a rope around his neck. He flips him over his hip. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know he um, he strikes with his right arm. Uh, swings the gun over his left shoulder. Um, very very specifically choreographed uh, via via script or screenplay writing. Um, and normally we'll run it through a couple times uh, yeah. on set and figure out and if something's different, something doesn't fit right, we'll we'll adjust for that. Yeah, we'll try it five or six times, possibly five or six times without the camera, and then try the camera. Yeah. So sometimes we'll even, sometimes I'll even choreograph them um, physically and then then write it like before we even shoot it all. So. Yeah. And he has more questions. He says, uh, "How have you promoted your channel and gotten so many subscribers?" Quality you know, work. Yeah, quality work. We haven't done a ton of like we never do ads or we never anything. did we just we never did the sub for sub thing. Yeah, we, we just, never did ads. We just 
have been posting videos and you guys have been awesome and shared them yeah and showed people showed and showed your people. friends that's yeah. that's the best way to make make an audience is is to to be honest and to get people to grow the audience themselves if if someone likes a video yeah. enough to share it with a friend that's a success on our part yeah we'll just entertain you and you'll spread it that's the so, idea yeah. do you have any suggestions how to safely take the internals of a flyable blast route so you can paint it well you know we had a few ideas of like putting screws in the order of what the gun was shaped like and we would um just try and take a picture of it or what, memorize it first what i'd recommend then, if you want to tape a uh, paint a flywheel blast blaster oh, yeah. it's just an external mod so what you really need to do is you need to you need to fill up the the empty spaces so you need to plug the barrel with something you need to tape over the 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 mag wells and the d jam doors just so that you can't get any paint on the inside if you're spray painting it if you get a little bit of paint on the inside it's not going to be the worst thing unless it's directly on a really important component um I've never had issues with paint inside of a blaster because it's it's pretty much pretty easy to tape over um, the holes on, on a blaster. So yeah, but uh, if you do want to take out the internals, sometimes what I did once or twice is I took a picture of the gun after I took it apart, yes, saw everything, and then I could just relate to the picture afterwards so I could put it back together. Yeah. All right, Arsenal of the month. We do these. I don't know why it says of the month. It's definitely not of the month. <laughs> this is Arsenal of the quarter. We received a lot more because this is three months worth of Arsenals. Um, I chose one that was very clean and orderly. Uh, this guy's name, he only goes by Lone Wolf. He didn't give us his name or where he lives. If you send an Arsenal, give us your name and like the city or at least state or at least country that you live in. You don't need to be specific, but it's nice to know where you guys come from. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool, clean Arsenal. Um, he's got like... Uh, a good a good setup of different generations of guns you got guns for as old as looks like the raider recon that's a pretty old gun yeah. maverick uh and then he's got some newer guns like the uh like rapid the, strike rapid strike's pretty new the new uh that crossbow i guess it's called yeah yeah and the sling strike so mm -hmm. those are fairly new yeah plus dart tag Dart tag vest. Yeah, want to go check out our dart tag review. Yeah, yeah. Fury Fire dart tag set. Check that out. You guys would Indeed. love that. Contest time. So we had we had quite a, a long contest, a long simple contest, and the contest was to enter a comment, and we would pick a comment, uh, our favorite comment. Uh, we got a lot of really good comments. Um, a lot of them made us laugh. A lot of them made us cry. A lot of them were really mean. A lot of them were really nice. But we picked one by the name of joe and he commented hey guys and nerve so calm i love watching your videos it's awesome and all your reviews i just wish you would do more mods i do yeah. too i have been watching you guys for as long as i can remember and enter all your competitions with the hope of winning a nerve blaster for a friend to use who doesn't have one i have nerf wars a lot but not all my friends are as enthusiastic as i am please keep making awesome content Joe. Thank you, Joe. You know, we chose you, and you can have a blaster for you and your friend. We're going to send you a blaster of your choice, and we're going to send you a signed blaster in addition, mm -hmm. and we're going to send you a dart, back, dart pack, and we're going to send you Nerf stickers. <laughs> I didn't read that before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we'll have a, a choice of guns that you can pick. Uh, it's not going to be every single one. Well, I mean, you see on the wall yeah. back there. A lot of them are back here. There's a bunch on the floor, Because we give you a new gun. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show you a list of what you can get. So. Yes. And uh, so for our next contest, we've done this before. It's a game types contest. So we want you guys to submit game types like, you know, capture the flag or zombies. But we want you to make your own original game types. And what we're going to do is we're going to play test them. And we're going to record that. We'll pro probably film film the play testing. And then, um, and then we'll pick our favorite one based on how they perform in the arena. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you can look on the website for the details. Same prizes as usual. You'll get a Nerf blaster of your choice, a Nerf blaster that we've signed that, that's our, our blaster. Uh, you'll get a, a pack of darts to go with the blasters and some stickers. Yeah, when we do these, when we test out the game types, we'll probably have like 10 or 12 people yep. at least have a doing Nerf these. party. Yeah, doing these... Uh, Game type. So we might even have score keepers. So if you have something that's specific to score, we might even do that. So, 
Yeah. yeah. You have a lot of variations of game types. All right. A special segment. It's time for the special segment. I have designed this, devised this special segment. We're calling it Guess the Gun. So, the way this special segment works is we're going to get... We're going to blindfold each other. Did you grab the blindfold, by the way? I did not grab any blindfolds. All right. He's going to grab a blindfold in a minute. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through that pile of Nerf guns over there. We're going to each pick five guns while the other's not looking. We're going to be blindfolded. And then we're going to give that person a gun to hold for five seconds. And then that person's going to have to put the gun down and say what it is within the next ten seconds. Uh, you know, when you guess it right... You get a point. When you guess it wrong, you don't get a point. Whoever has the most points at the end will win a prize. And the prize is incredibly awesome. And it's the best prize we've ever seen. Absolutely. You we'll guys have no idea. It's an amazing prize. Hey, I have a camera here. Do it here. Do it on your face. Do the face thing. I like how there's like a nose. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it up a little higher it'll stick out yeah <laughs> okay I can't see anything I see white actually just That's white cheating you can't see white okay ah. okay Tight. so so I'm just gonna give him five blasters and uh I'll keep a tally you have your pen on you no I don't okay well I'll just keep in memory which ones you you got and didn't alright let's see ah. okay I have an eyelash in my eye now <laughs> Sounds heavy. <laughs> it is so heavy. No cheating. I'm not. Don't worry. Stop cheating, John. Come on. <laughs> But okay, so you're gonna get five seconds to guess, and then five seconds to uh, I need a, a little timer mm, clock timer. Okay, I'm gonna put a gun in your hands, and then you're gonna guess what it is within 15 seconds. How about that? 15, yeah, so you get five seconds to touch it, and you get and you have to put it down after five. Ready? Okay. You have five seconds. Oh great, this is gonna be so Three, difficult. Two, one, go. Uh oh, what in the world? <laughs> it's oh. just time, time, put it down. What is it? That is the Han Solo Blaster. Is that what it's called? I think so. Okay. And go, touch. What? <laughs> Iron fire! <laughs> oh. I am fire. No, sharp fire. Dang it. Go. Hold that. Uh, oh, no. This is not an EX3. This is an EX5. Hey, that was something. You, you were holding it for like 10 seconds. You cheated. Well, you have to tell me. I don't think it's an EX5. I don't even remember what it's called. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a knife. Ready? Fire. It's not a knife. And go. Oh, gosh. Uh, zombie Strike Bio Squad. Um, Bolisher. A bolisher? I think it's a bolisher. Is it? I think. I don't know myself to be I honest. I don't even and remember. Boom. Go. Uh, what? Uh, uh, okay. What? You have 10 uh, seconds. Dang it. Um, it's the rival Zeus thing. Huh. <laughs> okay, could I take this off? Because yeah, I know can. I'm wrong in all of these. This is not oh. a rival Zeus. I don't think this is an IX5. It's an. Ex5. I, I don't, don't remember, remember the name of it. You didn't get the name right though. Yeah, I didn't uh, know that well. You got this wrong. You said Ion Fire. Shoot. 
should be. Is this called the Han Solo there. Blaster? I think so. That, there's See, no technically we reviewed it, but. No, we didn't actually review it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it counts anyway. Well, hello, people. This is a gun. Yeah, don't look at this. This is not real. Uh, and you said. A polisher, I think. That's what is I said. Is that what it is? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> We're so bad. Okay. okay. Camera, you showing them your. Hello, people. Set up. Okay. I don't see anything. I see white. It's just like a, it's like a gray. I need to feel these myself. Ooh, you'll never know. No, is. don't do this. You just gotta pick cool guns. There's one. Can I touch it? No. Where's my phone? Ooh, this one's kind of new. You will never know. No. This I was trying to go with cool guns <laughs> with you. Easy guns. Okay. Well, I. Those are just two that are. Cool. Okay. Let me see. Give me one obvious one at least, because that's okay, what I did this for one you. Was his gun. He was, liked this one. Me? It was sort of one of yours. Oh no. <laughs> it should be easy. I don't know my Everybody gun. Everybody loves this gun. Indeed. I wish I could see right now. <laughs> Are you peeking? I'm okay. trying to, but I can't. I just now can't I need do something, it. Uh, original. Let's Give see. me something like really hard, like a recon. <laughs> Or like, like a raider or a rampage. If you give me a raider and I say rampage, it counts because it's like the same model gun. <laughs> it is the same. I'm searching for something. Okay, this one's long. How long though? Is it like? It's not the longest for sure. Centurion long. Okay, well here's my play of guns. Play. Of guns. I don't see it. Are you talking it's, to me or are you talking to them? No, I'm not talking. Well. Okay, this, this so set your timer on your, too long. wherever Hold your on. phone is. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> give me five seconds to grasp a, a blaster. Actually, I gave you like ten seconds on average, by the way, because <laughs> you never put it <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah, I'll let you. All right. All right. It's in front of you. Can I put it in my hands? Yeah, I will. Uh, let me see. Let me grab this. I'm going to guess it's a zombie strike. Did you stand when you did this? Can I stand right? when I do this? Yeah. Is right, it a zombie strike? Do this. this is easier. It's my guess. Zombie strike? Is it uh, zombie strike? <laughs> we'll see. All right. Is it the see. opposite of zombie strike? Hold on. Go. Oh, this is a rough cut 2 by 4 Indeed. <laughs> Before five seconds came up. All right. <laughs> this was impossible. Is it though? Uh, uh, oh, shoot. Post strike. Okay, yeah. Is that what it is? You win. <laughs> <laughs> now keep going. <laughs> okay. It's the same exact thing, isn't it? What is this? Oh, this is the glow gun, isn't it? No, right, it's not. You have had too much time. I don't Guess? Uh, <laughs> Ravonix. <laughs> Ravonix? <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what that gun was. Okay, this one should be easy. 41, 42, 43. Alright, 40. Oh, this is the... Uh, speed oh, Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boom. What the heck? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> it's a, it's a. Uh, zombie strike sledge. No. Boom. The Time sledgehammer fire. Wait. Sledgehammer fire. Wait, no. Let me guess. Still. Sling fire. <laughs> Sling fire. Sling fire. Right. It might be. Sling fire. Ah. Uh. All right. Well. So let's I see won. What you, got. you guys want to see the prize? Ah, uh, sadly he won. So uh, I'll share with you, man. Here's the prize. Got a got a snack plate. Ooh, no, I'm not. Oh, look at this. Got a banana. It's not not ripe yet. Got some uh, vanilla wafer cookies and centavitos. Centav you know what these are? I'll tell you guys a little story. Uh, this comes from the. The, the, the place of Honduras where I went on a mission trip. These are actually really good. They're like Cheetos, but Honduran. I don't even think they're made in Honduras though. No, they are. They got a Honduras manufacturer. Sen, centav, centavos. Centavitos. Centavitos. They're amazing. No hablo espanol. <laughs> no hablo espanol. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, oh, yeah. A uh, little plus. Look at this. Comic Sans everywhere on Synthavios. Uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I thought this contest was pretty cool. It was. We'd like to see you do this contest. If you really want to. Yeah. If you guys like this contest a lot, as much as we did, you should do it and make a video. I would say, like, guess the gun contest. All right, guys. We will see you very soon. Next episode of No Circle News, but probably before then, and some other adventurous, creative video. See you guys next time.